Greetings beautiful Sagittarius and happy birthday season. Welcome to your December 2022 What's the Tea Terrascope. We're going to spill all the tea today Sagittarius. Thank you for joining us. My name is Trey. This channel is Experiential Energy Anatomy and we're delighted to offer you the objective information of the current astrological transits affecting Sag energy with extra support from the tarot. So this month, your ruling planet, Jupiter, is in water sign Pisces up until December 20th when it enters fire sign Aries. As symbolized by the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, and the Queen of Wands, fire energy. This month, the sun is also in your sign, Sagittarius, up until the 21st, the same day as the winter solstice when it enters Earth sign Capricorn. This energy can be symbolized by your major arcana, the temperance card. So I'm going to look at these images in order to intuitively interpret how is this energy manifesting in my story this month. I'm sensing for you, Sag, this month with the full moon in sociable air sign Gemini, that this month is an opportunity for you during your rebirth season to channel your confidence, your magic, to manifest some golden opportunities for you to actualize some good in the world for others. In this Terrascope, we will be pulling three cards representing the following primary three energies. One, the conscious. That may be what you already know or have come or seeking confirmation on regarding the person, place, or circumstance you're inquiring about. The second card will represent the subconscious. That is what is currently hidden from you regarding the person, place, or circumstance you're inquiring about. And the third card will represent any possible outcomes or the spiritual lesson. Okay, Sag, card number one, the conscious. We have... The Princess of Wands in the Crowley Thoth Tarot deck, also known as the Page of Wands, fire energy. Definitely sensing this is your energy as a fire sign, Sagittarius. This month, you could be experiencing something in your body that's drawing your conscious awareness to something that needs to be purified or let go of, right? I'm sensing here with the fire element. Again, purification, alchemical transformation. During your rebirth season, right, what does a rebirth mean to you? Well, it's about letting go of the old, embracing the new. The new you, the new identity. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Sensing here also with Jupiter entering fire sign Aries. Jupiter rules the expansive energy of growth and improving oneself and having faith in life. So I'm sensing here there may be an energetic requirement this month to be a little more assertive, Sagittarius, knowing your worth and what you offer. Now card number two, the subconscious, we have a very important message from the higher self to you regarding the four of cups, water energy, luxury. So I'm sensing what's hidden beyond the horizon for you in your story is that this card represents emotional, loving, motherly, unconditional type of emotions. Okay, Sag? And that there may be a romantic relationship in which there was some possessive inclinations or one person felt very restricted through an excess of affection. This possible diluted love is represented by the four chalices. The two of cups energy in which the love is fully expressed has come to its completion. So this could be about a romantic relationship that's nearing an end. Well, let's get more information for you. 
Card number three, any possible outcomes or the spiritual lesson, we have the Ten of Cups. Satiety. Yes, I'm definitely sensing that there's some endings and beginnings this month in your story. And, you know, all this water energy, you know, rebirth. Water is the source of all life and is highly symbolic in any birthing imagery. And with the Ten of Cups here as the spiritual lesson, I'm sensing it's about, for you, not compromising and being satiated or being satisfied, Sagittarius, with breadcrumbs. I'm sensing here this is about you becoming aware of what breadcrumbing is and that you deserve a whole slice of bread, not just a crumb. During Sagittarius season, you deserve all the good things, all the luxuries. So to review here, Sag, we have the Princess or Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. If you are interested in diving deeper and learning more about this trine of cards, you can head over to my Patreon page for the extended Need to Know Tarot Reading series. In the extended, we'll clarify the hidden supporting energies and get you more information about what romantic relationship is coming to an end. And, oof, sad. You know, I know that's not probably the best news you want to hear during any tarot reading. But with what I can tell you is that the Ten of Cups represents a relationship that was emotionally fulfilling and meaningful. Definitely sensing the Ten of Cups, some past life karmic entanglements. But let's close out this tarot scope now and get some final advice for you, Sag. Spirit, what final oracle message does Sag have a need to know in order to manifest optimal outcomes this month and apply this information with discernment? Bindu, center. The essence of all beings and all things is the same. Find peace of mind by focusing on the similarities rather than the differences today. So the Bindu is symbolized as a cosmic drop of water or a focal point. So what are you focusing on this month? Where are you focusing your energies knowing that where your attention goes, energy flows? Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful final oracle message. I truly appreciate your presence here, Sag. Thank you so much for attuning today. If this taroscope resonates with you, every single comment, like, share, subscribe, and donation to this channel is truly appreciated in order to grow organically and get these messages out to more people who have a need to know. And remember, if you are curious to dive deeper and know more about today's combination of tarot cards, you can head over to my Patreon page for the extended Need to Know Tarot Ring series. Patrons also receive access to a variety of other members-only content, such as the monthly astrological newsletter, discounts on personal reading packages with me, in which we gain the most accurate information regarding your personal love life, professional path, or spiritual path, and direct questions with me. Please also remember, this is a general tarot scope. Take what resonates and leave the rest knowing you are ultimately the master of your own story. To lose.